Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here. I'm here with Heather. Why you always started with me being mad at you? Because you're always mad at me. <sighs> I am the victim. And now she just, that is the third time you have struck me today. <laughs> Why did you just bunny ear punch me? <laughs> I didn't oh, she just fluffy cotton tailed me right here in the beginning of the video. Anyways, welcome back. We have a, eat this one. That's uh, what we're saying. Eat, stop it. I didn't even touch. I didn't even touch. Anyways, it. guys, we're doing a cooking vlog again. You guys seem to like these, so we'll keep doing them. Now, uh, this one. Are you sitting? No, I'm standing. Good. Listen. Okay. I'm actually gonna make something real. Yeah, right. I am. No. And you know what I'm calling it? What? Modi stew. Ew! Nobody wants that. All the flavors of Modi, right in your own home. No, that's gross. Modi stew. No, that's gross. In Modi stew, besides gumption and the will to fight, is sausage, mm -hmm. like smoked sausage, mm -hmm. green beans, mm -hmm. I went green this time, mm. and patoties. It has patoties in it. And water for, for juicy. <laughs> Ew. And then, uh, you know, 13 herbs and spices. Only grown on Modi. <laughs> it's Modi stew. M M F K. No M. <laughs> K F C M F C. There you go. Modi fried chicken. Yeah. No. It's no, because you have like the twenty-three secret herbs and spices. Don't talk about those. What's with my butt? <laughs> I know it's a cooking cooking vlog, but wow. Let's try it again. I know it's a cooking <laughs> vlog, but I'm not a piece of whatever. All right, so what are you, what what monstrosity are you gonna make this time? No, uh, I don't have a name for it. Modi stew. No, it's not Modi stew. She is awesome. Now, no. what's in your Modi stew? Rice. Modi stew. Cream of mushroom. I'm still here. Cream Modi of stew. chicken. God, I'm hitting all the boxes on this. Chicken. Modi stew. And Modi stew. Modi stew. <laughs> She has to make everything all slimy. No, and, uh, so, all right, so here we go. But I'm actually gonna make something that my mom made. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make something that my mom made when I was a kid and yet... Sauerkraut? Sauerkraut. You're the worst. I'm the best. You punched me. You and, love me. And groped me. You love me so much. Me. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys, she just, she just bullies me so much. And I mean, look at that's the face of evil. That is the face of, of fear. Hey, let's get cooking. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do chicken. Brains. <laughs> Broccoli, I've added cauliflower into it. I would eat that the way it is before I eat that. Ew, you would not eat it raw. I would get so much salmonella. Get roast. Get <laughs> What was that? That was me going, I don't know. Okay, so a bowl of gross, go on. Um, I don't know which one this is. Cream of mushroom. Mushroom, cream of chicken, broth, rice. This is optional. That's it, water. Oh. Mm. Here we go. All right, guys. Here is what you've really been waiting for. The true meal of meals. Modi stew. Gross. I don't want you guys to make this. Ew. It's delicious. No. Okay. Now, even though you won't have Modi there, by putting these ingredients together, you are going to give me the essence of Modi. That's so gross. Yes. <laughs> by the way, I have a new fragrance coming out. Ew. <laughs> essence of Modi. No. When you want to be sexy, but you also kind of don't want to get out of a chair. Ew. Yeah, that's Modi. By Kevin Klein. No, it's not. By, no, not sponsored. Stop that. By Kevin Klein. <laughs> the actor. No. Who's in the in and out? Oh my God! Tell us okay, what's in your so, food. What's in my food is we've got <laughs> sausage, smoked mm -hmm. sausage. Now kids, don't smoke unless you're a sausage. 
And then we also have uh, green beans. Okay. You could, if you have blue beans, no. you should see a doctor because that's bad. <laughs> I think wax beans are actually blue, but anyway. And then uh, <laughs> patotes. All right. Uh, a, 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 it, it's a starch. Yeah, it is. It's a vegetable. <laughs> it's not a vegetable. Don't get me started on the starch versus vegetable <sighs> stuff. I don't have the energy for this. And then you're going to need a big old pot. Okay. Okay. So first thing we want to do is we're going to fill this bad boy with water mm -hmm. and get it on the stove because it's going to be a lot of water boiling, so you got to get it going. Okay, so like all of my other stuff, there are no measurements in this whatsoever. <laughs> so have fun. All right, so we want to get the base of what we're making first. Base. base. Hello, can you go? Bye. <laughs> All right, so like with any recipe, you always want to go twice as much liquid as rice. So if you use one cup of rice, you're going to go two cups of whatever liquid. I think you're making that up. I'm not. That's that's how it is. No. Read that's... back of the rice bag. I can't read. <laughs> well, then you're going to have to trust me. When do, who reads the back of a rice bag? Like To find out how to make... Oh, I forgot. You do the whole minute rice where it's already measured for you. Exactly. I'm a very busy gentleman. I got things to do. Who reads the back of a rice bag? Unless you're like in the bathroom and forgot your phone. <laughs> Why would you have rice in there? Absorption. Ew. All right. I'm doing two cups of rice. So that's what? Four cups of liquid. Are you crazy? Yes. Oh, no You're so extreme. I know. I don't have like exact measurements. Bloop, 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 So you need four cups of that juice? Or any liquid. So do you do you squeeze the chicken yourself? How do you get the broth out? I open this little hip handy dandy uh, carton. Wait, this is is this from concentrate? So unhealthy. You're it not. Say concentrate. <laughs> concentrate's when you add water to it. Well, concentrate's when they take the water away. Then later you add water to it. Yeah. That was three cups. I know one cup of water. Welcome back to another episode of the Sassy Chef. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> <laughs> Middle child was right there. <laughs> yes, he was. I'll teach him to stand so close to me. All right, so we got that. Okay. I'm just gonna stir it just a tad. All right, is it done? Yes, it's done. This is, this is it. Delicious. Have fun. We're gonna add in our cream sauce. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. Mm. Bon appetit. <laughs> Keep chopping off the top of your head, I'm sorry. Ow. And you say I'm abusive and mean. You punched me three times today. Did not. Three separate times you hit me. Did not. There's no proof. Wow. His memory. <laughs> Listen, cackle, just <laughs> st stir your ghoul, your gruel over there. Right, my ghoul. Ooh. <laughs> this isn't a Halloween special. Ooh. The soup is haunted. You're haunted. By all the chickens you squeezed. Oh, oh. It's the passport all tense. No, it's not. It's not a real word. Don't eyeball Squeeze. me. Squeeze it. That's the third person passport all tense. All right. Now we're going to put it in the baking dish along with the broccoli and cauliflower. Why do you have a face like, oh God, I hope I don't make a mess? Because I'm going to end up making a mess. Okay, all right. All right, let's get in tight. Let's get in tight. All right, so we're going to want to fill this bad boy up. Now you can either go spray or full power. It's your choice. Either one. I'm more of a spray guy because it's like a waterfall. Alrighty, so let's get this on here. And you're gonna wanna turn this up to hot, like real hot, because that's that's how you- uh, Where am I going? The, down there, uh, up here, up here. That's, no, down there. Anyways, that's how you're gonna, up here. No, no, up here. No, too close. Too, we talked about this last time, up here. Way too close. 
Anyways, you're gonna wanna get that water boiling. So, there you go. All right, next thing we gotta do is we gotta peel the patoties. We gotta de-skin them, okay? You're skinning them? I'm skinning them, okay. Ah! Just kidding, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nothing like a little patoti humor to really make dinner go. You have to make that joke, it's part of the recipe. No, it's not. It no, don't freak people out. This is my food thing. <laughs> All right, so All right. deep skin in them. You want to throw one of the potatoes away <laughs> to intimidate the rest of them. They look scary. Look at them. <laughs> By the way, maybe it might be easier if you don't buy the smallest <laughs> potatoes there are. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take care of Biggin over here now that he's. Look at your friend. Look with all your eyes. All right, so. I'm gonna end up making a mess. I have to get two baking dishes because of the amount that I'm making. Here we go. <laughs> Cheater. I'm not quite sure how. It's, it's got a spout. Yeah, but I don't want to end up with an app sign. Here we go. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, dun, but then dun, I'm going to end dun. up with more liquid in one than the other. Don't fuck me. Oh, are you, are, wait, you scooping and spouting? Yep. Scooping you and spouting. crazy woman. Yep. <laughs> You know there's gonna be music in the background, so you don't have to do that, right? Actually, no. Keep going. I'm not gonna put music in this part. Uh, I will sue you for copyright infringement. It's your channel. That's right, Waylon. Don't you get in the middle of this. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> All right. Now you want to make sure you put down an even layer of gross. <laughs> that is so awful. Now we're gonna play the fun new internet game, Hide the Broccoli. <laughs> but that's your favorite game. It is. That's awful. Or I hide the broccoli in the trash. Waylon, shut up. We have neighbors moving in. And a dog that's a jerk. All right. There's a piece, there's a piece, there's a piece. There's a con, so good at this game. <laughs> that one's trying to get out, that one right there. There we go. Stay, stay. You have to intimidate the broccoli you for do. it to be tender. <laughs> 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 so now we have all of our potatoes peeled and one has been violently thrown away. <laughs> so that is a very important part of this. <laughs> um, now you're just gonna wanna cut them up. Now keep in mind, uh, the smaller you cut them, the quicker they're, they'll cook. But pretty much you just want to kind of cube them up a little bit. Vary in size if you want. I cut up all the potatoes as Heather sat there and judged my cutting style. I did not! <laughs> she did that a lot. So now we got our water boiling. Look at that. Let's get roll and boil. And now this is the part where we put potatoes in and then burn ourselves. Yay! Back up. Back up. Keep a safe distance. You're in the splash zone. <coughs> Alright. So you're gonna want to put the potatoes in first because those are gonna be the things that need to cook the most. Well, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> so you're gonna let that cook for a while. You can test it by uh, stabbing it with a fork. And uh, if the potatoes are soft, then they are pretty close to being done. If they're a little hard, you know, you're gonna be cooking for a while. And so we're gonna let that boil for a while and then uh, we'll add the next ingredients after that. Hi. Now we're gonna put the chicken on. Here we go. Magical powers. 
boneless, skinless chicken breasts. What'd you call me? Called you a boneless, skinless chicken breast. God, we have such cute pet names for each I other. Know. Wombat butt. Hey! <laughs> I usually do two per person, and if they don't eat it, then there's leftovers. Once again, we have to say this in all of our cooking <laughs> videos. Heather is cooking for 93 people, so <laughs> quantities may vary depending on the size of the military faction that you are trying to feed. A middle child, will you give me the salt and pepper, please? <laughs> Ooh, push it. No. Push it real good. So now that you have the chicken all laid out on top of the rice and everything else, you're going to salt and pepper it. Oh, push it. <laughs> push it real good. Now when do you add the spinderella? She is no longer a part of the group. <sighs> Spoilers. What? It came out like a while ago. I know, but I hadn't read that yet. <laughs> I was well, getting to it. Now you know. And then I add cheese. This is optional. You don't have to. I mean, isn't technically all of it optional? No. If you don't add the chicken, this just turns into nitroglycerin and you got yes. all over your house? A little known fact there, people. You might get poisoned. All right. The, the majority of our fan base is American, right? In yes. the U.S. Yes. Okay. So I'm sure they're going to be super offended that you've added cheese to something. <laughs> I think adding cheese to things has become the new national pastime. Take that, baseball. <laughs> All right. Then we'll, we'll cover with foil. All right, so we got the potatoes in the pot and they are cooking. You can stir them every once in a while, but for the most part, they'll kind of take care of themselves. Next thing we want to do, we want to cut the sausage, which, by the way, I learned is not a, it's not a joke about farting. Nope. So. Yeah. Like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Muzzle top. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna want to cut off that piece <laughs> to teach the rest of the sausage who's what? in charge. Why are you terrorizing your food? It's what makes it tender. Already dead. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. How do I get this out of here? Um, I ripped my wiener. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing so the camera shaking. Well, stop <laughs> laughing. Nothing funny is happening here. All right, so just want to cut off the tip there. All right, there we go. Okay, so uh, you're gonna want to cut these about yay big. Um, this is all already. Now you could do this with. Uh, uh, beef sausage, which this is, uh, smoked beef sausage, or you could do like uh, kielbasa, is that what it's called? Kielbasa. Um, and it'll have the same effect. Now the, the whole point of this is that having all these things cooked together really kind of brings out the flavor in each one of them. I've gotten bored and just wanted the sausage, and then I'm just a guy by myself in the kitchen boiling meat, and it did not come <laughs> out the same way. So you're gonna wanna kinda want all the ingredients. I mean, I guess you could technically boil potatoes without sausage because people do that all the time. But all right, so you're gonna want to just kind of cut this up into uh, normal sized pieces. And when my mom used to make this as a kid, she would eat this stuff raw, and that's the reason it's I don't. It's not raw. She would eat this stuff the way it is, and that's why I don't talk to her anymore. Fully cooked. Oh, uh, you want to believe that propaganda? F fake sausage. Potatoes have been cooking for uh, about 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. or so. So uh, get one of these uh, bad spoons that they forgot to put in the middle. <laughs> Slotted spoon. That's what I said. And you can see here the, the fork goes in okay, a little, little tough, but they're not gonna be quite done cooking. So that seems okay. So the next thing you're gonna wanna add is the green beans. So open up your green beans, drain all their juices out. That's how you teach the green beans who's in charge. So, just gonna go ahead and add them in. You're gonna wanna do green beans next because they're gonna take a little bit more time to cook. And it makes all the bubbles go away <laughs> because as most people know, bubbles in green beans are natural enemies in the wild. 
That's not a thing. You ever seen a green bean in a jacuzzi? No. Exactly. All right, so we'll let that cook for a while, come back up to a boil, and uh, we'll check our potatoes again, and then the uh, little round meat pieces will go in last. Okay, so you're gonna, we're gonna cover it with foil, have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Look at that foiling job. It's like you put it in a robot. <laughs> was that you transforming? I was transforming it into casserole thing. Yeah, what is this called? Give it a name. Uh, chicken yeah, and rice yeah. casserole. Yeah. Heather and chicken, Heather and, Heather and chicken's Heather, casserole. Heather and chicken's dream <laughs> vacation. That's what, what it's called. No. That's the name of this meal. No. Heather and chicken's <laughs> girls night out. Yes, it's a it's a rom com. Yeah, Heather and chicken. I just thought she's cheating on me. What? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just saying, chicken is slimy and gross to touch, and Sorry. probably has salmonella. So she's got a type. <laughs> and then they go in the oven. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, had the potatoes cooking for a while. We've added the green beans. And now it's time to add the fat, pudgy meat. Sausage. No! <laughs> what? What are you doing? Monkey, you want to go in the jacuzzi? No, monkey, no. So, tell him no. She's going to pee in there. Come on. It's, it's like basic instinct. No. Pretend you're a bunny. What? All right, so we got our pile of meat. We're going to have this in. Over the shoulder yeah. shot. Yeah, look at that. Fancy. Now you may say, wait, does the meat make bubbles go away? No, they're just in cahoots with the green beans. <laughs> the green beans are the aggressors in this whole green bean versus bubble situation. <sighs> Alright, so you're just going to let that cook for a while. You can put the lid on him so your girlfriend doesn't complain at you. That's a good idea. And, uh... You're just gonna get let the let the flavors marinate like, like me hiking on a warm summer's day. Ew. Just really want to bring out the essence of Modi. Oh, you can taste it already. <clears throat> Anyways, no. so let that cook for a while and then deliciousness. All right, guys. Well, here we are. We have our our final dishes. Uh, Heather, why don't you go first with the monstrosity that you made? Okay. I believe it's called Heather and Chicken Spring Break 97. No. Isn't that the name of it? No. Pretty sure that's what you It's not. Pretty sure that's the name. It's not. All right, push show. Okay, and then mine is, uh, <laughs> I just thought of it, sure. And uh, the final product of mine is Modi Stew. It's not stew. It's not what we're calling it. That's we're calling it that now. Stew is like a thick soup. You're a thick soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you go. Uh, you know, try making these dishes. See what you think. They're both relatively inexpensive. I want to say this, uh, mine was, I think, under $10. Yeah. And it could feed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think the sausage I got was a store brand. And it was like two for five. And then yeah. a couple cans of green beans for a couple bucks and a bag of potatoes. So I want to say... Maybe ten dollars could honestly feed at the quantity I did. An army. Yeah, like ten people, yeah. honestly. So, and yours? I mean, the chicken. And we had everything except yeah. for the soup, and the yeah. soup was like a dollar each. So yeah, rice, <laughs> uh, chicken broth, and chicken. So chicken is the most expensive part. So these are two meals um, for something for you guys to make. If you end up making it, let us know. You could always tweet pictures. Yes, do if that. If you made it, tweet it at Pinky and the Beard at Pinky and the Beard. Mm -hmm. Um, and let us know. And, also, uh, what do you guys want us to call you guys? Yeah. Because... Dingleberries apparently didn't go over as well as no. I thought it would be. See? So. Um, but make sure you guys check out the Patreon. There's a lot of really cool things there uh, that we're offering just to the Pinky and the Beard fans. Yep. And Beardos? No. Uh, pink Beards. Pink, pink. You should. Mm -hmm. Anyways. All right, guys. You said you guys like cooking vlogs, so this is your fault. <laughs> Bye! Say bye. Bye!